speaking in London at the start of a tour of European signatories to that deal, Sigel M. A. N. D. Elker, Under Secretary of the Treasury for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence, said sanctions were an important part of a comprehensive effort to counter Iran's malign activity in the region. We understand that the EU, it's been reported in the press, is considering new Iran-related sanctions. This is a good and important step that we support, she told reporters before meetings with British officials. Mand Elker said Iran was using money to support Hezbollah, Hamas and Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and that those attempting to do business with Iran despite the sanctions risked indirectly funding those groups' activities in the Middle East. We say any company thinking about doing business in Iran or with Iranian companies face serious risks that they will be doing business with those, like the IRGC, Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, supporting terrorism and instability throughout the world, she said. Iran warning Iran's President Hassan Rouhani warned on Monday that the United States would regret pulling out of the nuclear deal, and that Tehran's response would be stronger than anticipated. The 2015 pact between Iran and six major powers, Britain, China, France, Germany, Russia and the United States, lifted sanctions that had crippled Iran's oil-based economy, in return for restrictions on its nuclear activities. But, since coming to office, Trump has criticized the deal, agreed under his predecessor Barack Obama, and told European allies to fix the terrible flaws of the deal, or he will refuse to extend a suspension of U.S. sanctions on Iran. Mand Elker said Iran had not complied with the terms of the deal, citing factors such as a continued lack of transparency in the Iranian banking system. The onus of responsibility lies in Iran and we are going to continue to highlight the risks of doing business there because they haven't taken the actions that they have promised they would take, she said. Mand Elker also said she would be discussing with European allies how to disrupt North Korean efforts to evade sanctions. She added that she looked forward to continued close working with Britain on sanctions against Russia.